Hello! Welcome back to Morrowind on the new computer. It's very exciting. Um, uh, apologies if the music is a bit loud. I can't remember how I ha had all my audio settings set up and that's all been reset. Sounds okay to me right now, but I'm, I'm not going to know until I'm editing the video and comparing it, so... Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it is. But yeah, here I am. I'm on the new computer. Morrowind was very easy to transfer. Um, uh, I use like Ymash as a as the uh, the mod, the mod, oh thing thing. And um, literally, I just like copied the file. I installed Morrowind on this computer. I copied the files over, launched Ymash, and it just worked. All the um, all the plugins were activated in the right order. I booted up the game, and it just it, we were just here. So. Yeah, that was, um, that was, I was pretty happy with that. Oblivion was pretty easy as well, but um, it didn't remember the uh, load order. Luckily for Oblivion, I think the only mods in the file, in like the folder, were the ones I was using. And a bit of fiddling around, that seems to be working fine. Anything using mod organizer, using like virtual, because uh, Morin's in Oblivion, I've, um, I have installed all the mods directly into the game folder, old-fashioned. So that's actually kind of worked out a bit better in this case. Mod organizer, using like the virtual mod download folders, I think is going to be a bit more complicated, but shouldn't be too bad. I just haven't been bothered to do it yet. I've got loads of other stuff to set up every like, you know, all these like programs you forget about. Getting them all installed, logging into everything. I'll get there. I'll get there soon though. But what a, what a pain after being away from doing this for almost a month and then my computer explodes on me. It literally something for I think the motherboard is what fried in the end. I think that's what went, which is really lucky because the reason I was upgrading my computer is because my motherboard was so dated, so Yeah, it turns out not too bad. Fingers crossed. Touch wood. Um, where are where are the Hlalu offices? Uh, it's been a bit of a gap for me, and now I I can't remember where anything is. Well, where did I put that? That's how I feel. Um, we are looking for a man to get him a job. Glossia Rumoril. Um. Oh no, I'm not looking for him. Uh. No. Uh, Gerardus Tilianus. Gerardus? Geridus. Geridus. It's an imperial name. Geridus, surely. That's who we're looking for. Geridus Tilianus. Um, we're looking for a job for him. We need, we're looking for him first. And after watching the last episode, it's painfully obvious that he was just in the outside room of the Hualu section. Rather than... I didn't need to be running all over the place like I was. But now I've lost the Hualu section. And um, ah, here we go. It's one of these. Uh, here we go. It's this guy, surely, or him. This guy, there he is. he's right here all along. Apologies for <laughs> all of you who realised that at the time and watched me spend 10 minutes running around and then just giving up and then had to wait like two weeks because my computer died. But here we are, finally. Serves them right. Um, Sweet moon, sugar. Anything else I want to say before we carry on? There were a few things I wanted to mention at the start of the video. Oh yeah, audio as well with my voice might be a bit different. I've kind of reset up how my mic's connected and stuff. It's a lot better. And um, also my new computer is so much quieter I will no longer... I used to have to filter out fan noises 
in like post-processing from the audio recordings because you could just hear my fan going nuts in the background this new computer is like silent so um i won't have to do that anymore so it might sound a bit different it might take me a couple of episodes to kind of get used to it but it should should be okay-ish i'm i'm sure well if you're watching this it should be okay-ish it's okay-ish enough for me to upload it i suppose anyway let's get on with what we're doing there is much to alarm ah uh, gerardus if uh, this sheep will get out of the way. My teeth itch. <laughs> what? <laughs> you should you should brush your teeth, mate. Gerardus. See, you're the one who's going to find me a job. I suppose I am. I'm gonna get a job for a scribe. I thought I was going to get a job in Andothran, but now you're saying that you'll look for one here in the city. I've been asking everywhere I thought I might need. Everywhere I thought might have need for my trade, but I might have overlooked something. But I'd advise asking Burgrave, um, the Berissa Bur Bank, the East Empire Company, the Customs or Harbour Offices, as well as any of the private manors, because I already asked and they all turned me down. Okay. So I need to find him a job in town. But not the Burgrave. I'm not going to remember this. Okay. Okay, job for a scribe. Do I have that? Yes, okay, I've got a list here in my journal. And before we leave, let's check with um, Glossio again. Just to check, did he have any advice for me? Uh... Just go ask around the city. Okay. Do you have a job for a scribe? I was suggesting Glossia to have him replace that useless harbour clerk in Andothran, but she suddenly changed her mind. I'm afraid I can't help you. Oh, sorry, I've ruined that. Lali politics. No, I mean. Let's let's get out of the um out of the Ebon Tower. Start knocking around town. Let's do divine intervention. Right, into into the lag zone. The whole city isn't like this. This is just a bit of a weird lag zone right by here. Let's reduce my view distance a little bit as well. That's helped. Okay. So none of the manners, not the bank. Hmm, let's ask, <laughs> let's ask Chorav here, let's see if he has any advice, excuse me sir, excuse, I, say excuse me, um, job for a scribe, I don't know, have you tried the Imperial Guilds, yeah maybe, maybe we could get him a job at the Mages Guild, pull some strings, dark in here. Um, job for a scribe? If he isn't skilled in magic, I don't see what use we'd have for a scribe. Perhaps Archibald is of another opinion. Okay, maybe. Let's go ask him. Anything glitching out in here? This all seems to be fine. Um, good day, Warlock. Do you have any use for a scribe? No, I don't have any use for a scribe. Now, excuse me. Hey. No luck there. Uh, Valkraya. Any use for a scribe? No. Alright, I don't think it's happening in the Mages Guild. Um, a scribe. Quality wares. Brick mason. Just a person. A weaponsmith. 
woodworker, they're not going to need a scribe. Mystical Emporium? Probably not. Maybe the bookshop, though. Telltales. Hi again, Utrashi. Do you have any use for a scribe? No, she doesn't. Have you tried asking the people at Ebon Tower? I was just there, and I thought maybe I wouldn't. Ah, okay. That's not what I want to hear. What do you have to say about it? Chop for a scribe. East Empire Company would be my best bet. Or perhaps the Barristers Guild. They do a lot of paper. Yeah. The Barristers Guild. Did he mention the Barrister Guild? The Burgrave, the Bank, East Empire Company, Customs, Harm. Okay, the Barristers Guild. It's a good idea. Raze had. Now where is that? That's nearby, isn't it? I have to say, this is like the best performance I've ever had in Old Ebonheart. Wow. I have um, updated my graphics extender XE. Maybe that's made a difference. And my view distance is right down now. You can't really tell by here, but I always do that. This is very good. Also, the computer upgrade, but I don't think my computer... Yeah, you know, I don't think the computer was bottlenecking the game. I think it was more just um, like a software bottleneck. I have done some performance testing on Morrowind and Oblivion on this computer and like my performance is pretty much exactly the same. Why is the Barristers Guild? Is it up, uh, up this street somewhere? like this guy might have died in the past and he's back alive again. I definitely did a quest here and I'm sure someone died. Oh well. Uh, Marsh Demon at her elbow. Interesting name. Do you by chance have use for a scribe here? Is the scribe in question well versed in the complexities of Morrowind law? No. Then we don't have any use for him here. Damn. Damn, I thought that was a good idea. Alright then. Um, uh, Taylor... Exotic weapons. Mm. I know, let's ask around at the end. Ooh, there might even be a notice, someone looking for a word. Necromantic services for reasonable prices. Missed your opportunity to bid a loved one goodbye? Do you have questions for the recently deceased? Worried about your family's medical history? Speak to Hastafos Villafer for all your soothsaying and communion needs. Is that legal? I, um, has the Mages Guild not yet banned necromancy? Or maybe it just doesn't count here in Morrowind. Not sure. Uh, that's the missing horse you might remember from a long time ago. Advertisement. Uh, yes, that's the fake Ashlander market. I remember that as well. No leads there. Imperial treasure stolen. 
Is the Empire in Marund under a coordinated covert attack? This seems to be the implication of a series of recent break-ins to the Imperial institutions in both Old Ebenhardt and Ebenhardt on Vardenfell. While guards reportedly managed to fend off a burglary in the Eben Tower vaults, brigands stole a precious ancient cuirass and a sword in the care of the Imperial Legion on Vardenfell. What's worse, the offenders are rumoured to have been traitors within the Legion itself. That's good because for a second there I thought this article was about me. Because I think I've robbed both Eben Tower and Old Ebenhardt. Or Ebenhardt. Both of them anyway. If outside enemies are now combining forces with treasonous elements in the Imperial ranks, this surely heralds dangerous times for the Empire in the East. However, when asked to comment to Lord General Kaelia Victrix of the Morant Imperial Legion denied that citizens should be concerned. There is no need for undue alarm. We have no evidence that attacks were in any way connected. Rest assured, these are simple thieves who will quickly be apprehended and the treasures will soon be returned to the rightful possession of the Emperor Uriel Septim the Seventh. Long may long be his reign. We can only wish good fortune to the Imperial Legion as it seeks to recover the lost artifacts. Okay. Interesting stuff. So there's uh, some new thieves picking up the mantle now. Siltonelli is not uh, not doing any business with the guild these days. Nice to see. Failure. I'm looking for a job for a scribe. Got any ideas? Yeah, I have tried the Imperial Guilds. What about you? That sounds like something that they'd have need uh, uh, have need for at the customs offices. There's one office by the south gate. Yeah. Did you mention the customs office? Yeah, I know he said don't bother with the customs office. Salt's his tongue. That sounds like a very strange thing to do unless you're doing a, a lot of tequila slammers. Maybe I should go to the customs office and maybe they can give me some advice. Job for a scribe. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe I should go back to Ebon Tower. I don't know what to do. How about this guy? Um, yeah, he does some, like, custom stuff. A job for a scribe? No idea. When it snows in my stove. Let's ask the Empress Carteria, the old gang. Hmm, okay. Maybe I will go to the customs office, see what they have to say about him. Where is it? It's this place. Offices, okay. Um, this is to do with some quest that I either forgot to finish or has uncompleted itself. I'll ignore him. Uh, Ragosh. Speak to a Porcilla. Okay. It's locked up there. No one in here is talking to me. I'm just getting in the way. with me a second to open a 
window or a door or something. I'm boiling in here. How about this guy? Attenbar. Job for a scribe. Everyone's saying the same thing. That's the command post. Um. Small fork on outside, or is it inside? I have no idea. Small fork? Oh, it's like, um. What's it, you know like um, what's it called when like posh? Do I want to just say posh dining? That sounds like the stupidest thing to call it. You know when you put your forks in certain places, it does have a name. Can't think of what it's called now. It says a lot about me, maybe. Arrow. Um, I th I'm thinking I'm gonna speak freely, friend. Head back to Eben Tower because I can't think of anything around here. I think we need to find like an individual, a rich individual who needs a lot of paperwork done. So I can't see any of these businesses needing a scribe. just realised I was half dead. Who is this guy? I remember him. We've interacted with him before. Like, selling unlicensed spells or something, I think. Selling fish. None, none of these markets people are gonna need any help. In the temple? Maybe? I, uh, uh, Ran Wen. Do you need a scribe in here? Speak with Felmo Ilmeroth. He takes care of the day to day running of the chapel. You can find him by the altar. Okay, promising. Nice to have an excuse to come in here as well. Vesperia. Very cool, cool makeup. It's the Chapel of Talos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um. So I, I can't. I'm not sure which Adria each of these represents, but I guess they do. Ah, oh, here we go. RK, Kinnereth, the bird, Mara. Is a bit of rope. What's that? A mushroom? Zenithar. Oh, it might be an anvil. A, uh, a timer. Egg timer. It's Akatosh, obviously, yeah. Talos. Flower? Dubella? Spilt cup? Stendar? I could kill that guard. Those boots are ruined. Triangle? Julianos. <laughs> if, I, if I knew more in-depth lore, I'd tell you all about what that means, but I, I don't. I'll have to leave you to tell me. Um, welcome. May I tell you about the Imperial Cult? We invite you to join the Imperial Cult as a lay member. T tempting. 
I don't know if we want to get involved in another religion, but maybe it would be good for our reputation. Look a bit more respectable in the eyes of, uh, of the Imperials. Consider it one day. Do you by any chance have a job for a scribe? I don't question his piety, but I'm afraid we don't have need for a scribe at the moment. God damn it. Thought I was onto something then. And this is a... Someone's manor. He said not to bother with any of the private manners. Fighters Guild? That's a... Give it a shot. Actually, Frothressa Aravel has been quite overwhelmed by paperwork lately. So perhaps we'd have use for a scribe. But ask Sharnoga. She has the last say around here. You can find her on the second floor. Sharnoga. Alright. So you're the one... Yeah, yeah, the guild has me up to my neck in paperwork these days. I can't kill a net without them getting a cut. If only we had a scribe. This paperwork is killing me. If you'd convince Sharnoga to recruit him, I'd be very grateful. Alright. I'll do my best. I do, I need, do need this guy working in Old Ebonheart, well away from Andothran. Um, hmm, can I, can I charm you? <laughs> can I? That's the question. Oh my god. What's going on? I have a 77% chance of casting this. There we go. Do you have any use for a scribe here? So, Frothressa wants some assistance with her paperwork. Sure, we can afford to hire a squire, uh, hire a scribe. It's hard to say. Go and tell him that he can start working here whenever he likes. Perfect. Amazing, I wasn't expecting the Fighter's Guild to be the answer. But I guess if you're killing a lot of things, there's probably a lot of, uh, a lot of paperwork to do. Excellent. Um... Oh, now I've got to go find him again. I have no idea where he was. I really like, I really like this plaza here, especially when the, the sun peeks through like this. It's a really pretty little place. Emperor, King and Justice oh, Citizen. Sorry, I, I walked into you. I was distracted by the, by the, you know, the lovely tree. Anyway. Right, so we go into the Curia. We go this way. Offices east. Go up here. Central offices. Go here. We look like that. We go down here. Offices west. Turn here. Radaran. Yeah, okay. I know the way. It might be the long way round, but I, I know a way. Okay. Uh, Geridus, I have you a job. Oh, right, I don't don't tell you. I'm going to tell you, boss, where you're working. After the kicking, I gave that weasel a better mind as manners. Never heard that voice line before. 
It amazes me, I've played this game for so long and I always hear voice lines that I've just never heard before. How goes your search for a job for a scribe? Quite well, actually. The Fighters Guild will take Geridus in. Oh, I would never have thought about asking around there. Of course, they must have tons of paperwork thanks to all their contracts. I will tell Geridus at once. Here is also my reply to Nalvina Balen. Go and deliver it to her. Just remember to leave the seal alone this time, okay? I'm not going to, I'm going to. I am, I'm your boss. I'm going to read whatever I like. Great, okay, we're done here though. So, next up, before we head back to Andothran, we need to make a rather large detour. Um, to Necrom, because I've heard that there may be a copy of On Daedric Design at Tenandus's Rare Books in Necrom. So, that's where we're headed next. I've got about 20 minutes left, so um, let's try and make our way there. That's going to be a time-consuming thing. I have, like I was saying before, I have a... I'm going to just divine intervention out of here. I have actually placed a mark in Necrom, but um, it's in an illegal spot in the vault, so I can't recall there. I'm going to have to travel the old-fashioned way. Once I'm there, it should be fairly easy to just um, divine intervention out. I should end up in some imperial city that I can get a boat back. But how do you travel to Necrom? There is a port, but I'm going to have to sail all the way around. Salen Akamora. Oh, I could probably... There's a Mage's Guild in Akamora, isn't there? And then I can probably catch a Silk Strider from there. I'm just gonna save it. I've got, I've got the, uh, I've got the fear, the crash fear. It's lurking over my shoulder, over my shoulder. Right, so we're in Akamora. I've never. Never travelled to. I've never been anywhere out here. I, I always complain about that, but. Today is not the day to explore. We've got things to do. Um, how do I leave? Oh, oh! While I'm here, I'll have your restore magic potions. Thank you. time is it? Oh, it is. It's evening. <clears throat> um, I'm going to drink a load of these now. Five of them. Will that restore half of my magic? Mm, no. No, it won't. Is the Silt Strider here? This is a cool town. I should do some um, Mages Guild quests here one day. Silt Strider high or low? Ah, oh, it's low. It's kind of out of town, I remember. It's like... 
down at the bottom and like across a bridge or something. I can hear it. I can hear a silk strider. Yes, there he is. I see him. That was just a blast of my um, shoes of expedience that I don't remember enchanting, but I, I guess I did at some point. Travel, please tell me you can take me to Necrom. Oh, you can. Amazing. Hang on, hang on. Oh! Wow. It's very dark. Just, uh... Let my eyes adjust. I d let's, um... I do have a light spell. Looking for a bookshop. How late is it? It is midnight. But um, I don't really want to be hanging around in Necrom, so... Maybe if we uh, wake the book seller up in the middle of the night and if we leave a generous tip, maybe she won't mind. Oh, it's raining. Where are the shops here? Um. Not down here, I don't believe. I can't see any signs. Are these all houses? Yeah. Maybe a crossover in this section. feel lost and a little intimidated by Necrom at night time. It's a spooky place. This is the upper district so is this going to be shops and stuff? Now this is like where they... Oh, oh maybe, maybe over here in fact. The Apothecary, Temple Outfitter, the Arnesian War Collection, we've uh, seen that before, that was interesting. Ah, ah, Tenandus' Rare Books, I feel like I've stolen something from this person in the past. I have deja vu coming up here. I have a lot of history with a lot of people. I've been playing this save file a long time. Definitely have stolen something from here. Please don't let it be the book that I'm looking for. Hmm. Well, let's ask her. Ooh, Lenny. I'm thrilled to see that you're still open. Does no one does no one sleep in Necron? Is that how it is here? By your actions you have lost the trust of the temple until you make amends, expect no favour from me. Well that started 
Orly. Do you know the book on Daedric design? I have a copy, yes. The book is for sale if you wish to purchase it for your guild. But will you sell it to me? Not this time, Siltanalia. You've been expelled from the temple. Oh, shit. Okay, is it... Is it... I think I'm going to have to steal something from you again, Uleni. Apologies in advance. On Daedric Design. Please say it's out here somewhere and not on her person. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, there it is. Oh, Must not again. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm afraid it is happening again. Master Zorame's Tale. Sounds like a cool book. Seven Penance. The Spectrum Study. I think I've read that. The Faithful. An expensive book. I've never read that. I don't have time to, um... To read books right now. Spawn of Ash. A Comprehensive Guide to Vardenfell's Savages. Oh, yeah, no, this is... This is nonsense. Okay, let's not worry about stealing anything else. Let's steal the book we came for. Uh, the Ring of Far Reach. Yonk. Hopefully she didn't notice the book fly across the room then, just as I was, as I was leaving. It would be good if, um, on Morrowind, when you stole something, the game checks not just on, like, your character's position, but the position of the item that you're stealing, and whether they can see that as well. It doesn't need to be more complicated than that, but that would solve, um, that would solve a lot of problems, I feel. Anyway. I'm not worried about that, and I'm happy to exploit it, in fact. Let's get out of here! Um... Somehow. I'm not staying here this evening. I'm gonna sleep on the Silt Strider. And we should be back in Andothrin in no time. <clears throat> I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. I don't think I've spoken so much and for so long. For <laughs> quite a while now. I'm not used to it. Really? There we go. Where's the, the silt strider? Just by here? Ah, uh, Vernis, get me the hell out of here. Oh, you can take me straight to Akamora. Wait, yeah, that's... I was, I was thinking of um, Andothran then. Yeah. Akamora, please. Great. And it is the next morning. Lovely. Um, right. Back to the Mage's Guild. It's always so foggy here in Akamora. But I'd love to see it on like a bright sunny day so you can actually see all the other buildings on the other side of the valley. Uh, right, where's the Mage's Guild? 
I am. I do not know my way around, Akamura. Um, evidently. Um. Okay, I've completely lost my sense of direction now. Oh, maybe things don't have signs. Maybe this is it. No. You look like a mage. Nope. These are all manners. All manner of manners. It's, um... It's up here. It's up here. Past the man with the glass helmet. Past this little stand. By here? No! <laughs> Damn, I thought it was. Uh, further along? Ah, aha, here we go, here we go. And the guild guide is you. Yes. Um, send me to Andothran, please. Excellent stuff. Okay. We'll turn this quest in, but um, I think I'll do that next time. We'll uh, turn in both quests, and today I'm going to end this episode by... Having a little look at On Daedric Design, this book that we've heard so much about.